Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So volatility is continuing, and uh, buyers are still coming in at the bottom, which is just fascinating me, because we we keep breaking structure, and then the buyers step in, and then we go test the top of the structure, we come back down, and the buyers step in. Uh, so you know, either we've got some really good range traders that are trading this at the moment, or alternatively, you know, we've got people that are accumulating positions at the moment. Uh, I'm, I'm on sit, sit on the fence at the moment and uh, look at the oscillators here a little bit of a crossover brewing on the oscillators doesn't look very positive and uh, if we start moving down through the time frames you can see a couple of things on the go so each one of our levels are basically being shattered so there's a level been broken there's a level broken okay a bit of a, a nice tail on that but we're not getting onto a level f gently finding support and then moving to the upside or getting to a level on the upside gently finding support and moving to the downside so and this is normally a, a sign where you've got traders waiting for the break so they've got the levels in and then they're waiting for the break and they've got positions in there and immediately as they start selling then the buyers step in knowing that the stops are a little bit further down and start moving the market in the opposite direction. So it's been two days of down. You can see fairly strong moves to the downside. And then the buyers stepped in uh, when the Fed minutes came, in, came out last night. So these pin bars here and the fact that we're below the moving average again, I think you know, the level that we need to pay attention to is, and it's, not going to be exact but I'm going to pick it up on this swing low here which is 15217 that's the area that needs to be defended if we can break above that then I would expect us to move back to the upside top of range if we can't get above that then I'd expect us to come and test uh, 15025 then 1500 and then possibly a, a further break to the downside to test the extreme bottom of the range which is right down here at 14836 uh, look at your oscillator at the moment looking to be crossing over far apart so this is leaning towards a second push down but the buyers keep stepping in so I'd be very reluctant to be pushing short at the moment not until I see some structure forming on in, in this market the three or four hour uh, but that's kind of the structure that I'm looking for at the moment. If I look at the four hour, you can see we've got a crossover, we've got a pin bar, it's indicating a move back to the upside. Uh, whereas on the hour, we've got grouping of the oscillators, strong move down, coming up to some structure, and uh, pin bars here looking for a move to the downside. So might as well just toss a coin. Uh, we're going up, we're going down. That's kind of what we're doing at the moment. So until we break through this consolidation, I'm set on hand. So uh, the second month of this in the da in the DAX, it will it won't continue like this forever. But I'm not interested in this. We will sit quietly on the side and wait for some opportunities. Anyway, that's it for me this morning. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.